let's talk about eBay dropshipping. Once again, I've been getting a lot of questions, especially concerning how to fulfill these orders once you sell a product, how to ship the products to your customers while doing this method of eBay dropshipping. Full disclaimer, I'm not an expert in this. I've literally only made two sales with eBay dropshipping. I'm just sharing with you guys what I know because I've gotten a lot of questions on my other eBay dropshipping video. But anyways, today I'm going to walk you guys through the entire process of finding a good product to list on eBay via this dropshipping method and then how to go ahead and fulfill the order once your product sells. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Meg. For those of you that don't know me already, I make videos testing out different online business ideas and side hustle ideas. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm because it helps a lot more than you know. Um, and if you want to see more content from me, you can follow me at the Meg Rye on Instagram. Today, we are going to talk about eBay dropshipping. I wasn't going to make another eBay dropshipping video. If you saw my last video, I explained that this is actually against eBay's terms of service. So before you get into this, make sure you watch that video. I got a lot of questions on my eBay dropshipping videos. Hopefully in this video, I can answer them all for you guys and take you guys through the entire process of finding products on other retail websites to list on eBay and dropship, and then how to actually go and fulfill these orders once your product sells. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to be using Walmart as an example in this video because Walmart is the only website that I have experience with using for eBay dropshipping. I know I've been getting a lot of questions about Amazon and even I think someone commented about AliExpress the other day and I'm sorry but I don't really have experience with dropshipping from those websites but I'm going to be using Walmart in this video and I'm going to start looking for some products. For eBay dropshipping, the department that I like to look in first is the home furniture and appliance section. Let's see, we can go to wall decor, wall art, candles, rugs, mirrors, lighting. Okay, so this looks like a good product. This Better Homes and Gardens 100 milliliter ultrasonic aroma diffuser. So I'm going to copy this title from Walmart and paste into the eBay search. And that looks like pretty much the same product, but I'm going to filter to only see sold completed items. This is going on Walmart for $23.72. And someone had sold this for $40.99 and then they have the exact same photos. So this definitely looks like an eBay dropshipper. Wow, I actually found one on my first try. Last time I made a video on this, it took me forever to find an eBay dropshipper. But if you look over here, this seller has 99% positive feedback, which is lit, like good for them. And they also have 6,632 ratings. So this looks like definitely a good seller to check out and see what other items that they're selling. The next step after we find a good product that someone else has drop shipped on eBay, the next step is to look on that seller. And like I said, last time I made a video on this, it took me forever to find another eBay drop shipper that also had like a lot of different items for sale. But like, look, this one has 14,827 other items for sale. They are obviously doing very well at dropshipping on eBay. So we are going to look at their other items. They have some shower curtains, some other oil diffusers. They have a lot of Better Homes products. Better Homes and Gardens is a good brand to dropship on eBay from Walmart. I see a lot of these products. So what you do when you find another eBay dropshipper that has a lot of products like this, you can go ahead and like look through all of their products. So I'm going to use this shower curtain as the example. And this is actually a pretty good example because this is only $11 on Walmart's website, but they're selling it for $22.99. Now that we found a good product to dropship on eBay, I'm going to create a listing for the same Better Homes and Gardens shower curtain. This is literally the copy and paste method. You just copy the title on Walmart, paste it into your eBay title. Okay, so the category is going to be home and garden and it's going it's in bath, shower and bathtub accessories and it's in the shower curtains like subcategory. We are going to select new condition because this is a brand new product. Okay, so for the photos, we are literally just going to save all of the photos from Walmart. <laughs> Thank you. 
this has automatically updated the item specifics, which is a good thing because the more item specifics that you have in your eBay listing, that means it'll be easier to find. So scroll down all the way to the item description. When it comes to do your description, you're going to go back to Walmart's website and literally just copy all of this and paste it into your item description. And then I'm going to scroll down. Make sure that for your selling details, make sure that your format is a fixed price. You don't want to do auction and then price. It's only $11 on Walmart, so we can price this even lower than the other person that was selling it for. And I'm just going to put the price as $21. 99 and then you can select the quantity since you're getting this from walmart you can sell really like as many as you want as long as they're still in stock and as long as you keep track of that you're going to offer free shipping that's how easy it is to list a product from walmart for ebay drop shipping and you're just going to scroll down and click list item all right so this is what the final listing looks like on ebay when you're done listing that now I'm going to show you guys the process of how you fulfill these orders. It's super easy, I promise. Say like this just sold literally like right now, this is what you're going to do. First, you add to cart and you're going to click check out. Okay, so this product can be shipped from Walmart with the next day delivery option. Okay, so even though the subtotal is $11 for this product, after the shipping and the tax, it's going to cost a total of $18.12. So you're only going to be making like a $3 profit and that's still before eBay fees, PayPal fees. So you're going to be making less than a $3 profit. So this is another reason why eBay dropshipping might not really be worth it. Most of the products that you're going to be dropshipping aren't going to make you much of a profit. You're going to have to list a bunch of items like, like the other dropshipper on eBay had tens of thousands of items. So you're going to need a high volume of sales to make this pretty profitable or to make this worth it in my opinion. Anyways, that's that's my thoughts about this. Okay, so now that we're checking out, basically what you're going to do here is really simple. You're going to enter the customer's information, which you're going to be finding like on your eBay account. When you come over to like my eBay, come to sold, basically you're gonna click on order details. You come over to their shipping address and you're gonna type in their name. So I'm just gonna use my name as an example. And then I'm not gonna show you guys my address or anything. So just like say that's my address. And then phone number, this is a little bit different difficult because I didn't know that I was going to need this, but because you're not going to find your customer's phone number on eBay, I typed in my own phone number. I don't know if you want to do that, but that's what I did. And then you're going to type in the city that your customer lives in, which again comes from your shipping address in the order details. You're going to type in the city and the state and the zip code and then like just continue. And then after you put the delivery address and your customer's information in, you're going to put your credit card or debit card or whatever. And then basically you're good to go. You're going to click continue. Hopefully you guys get the idea. That's, it's not really that hard. What I recommend doing to manage your eBay listings, and this is what I do, is create a spreadsheet of your listings, include the link on your eBay store and include the supplier link. Make sure that you check up on the listings to make sure that these products are still available on the supplier's websites. And that's basically how you do eBay dropshipping. And it's pretty much going to be the same way for any other supplier's website that you're using, whether it's Amazon, Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, Walmart. So yeah, I hope you guys got some value from this video. I hope this video answers your questions about how to fulfill orders drop shipping on eBay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Let me know if you still have any questions and I will try my best to answer them as long as I know what I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you aren't already and turn on the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>